Research Advantage is a program we've put in place to support researchers at all stages of their career. So it's really a, a program that offers education, it offers training, it offers mentoring, special programs to support um, professional development opportunities. So it's a, a really a one-stop shop to support all researchers to really achieve, I think, their, their best outcomes. Research Advantage is a great program because what it does is it guarantees all of our researchers an opportunity for development. It doesn't matter what stage of their career they're at, um, we offer them support that they can rely on. So I think it's, it's a unique program in that sense that it's guaranteed and it's targeted all stages of, of their career. There's so many, it's hard to choose. Uh, look, I think some of the most uh, amazing outcomes that we've seen have come through just allowing our early career researchers to connect. And we have a program called Connect and Empower. It provides a, a great opportunity for those early career researchers to network with people that, you know, senior academics that they might not normally get the opportunity to, to meet. So I think that's one of my highlights. I think the, the growth what we've seen in our early career uh, cohort has been quite significant. I think the other um, highlights for me um, would be uh, the Women in Research Fellowships. We, we're seeing such uh, interested, um, interest and, and uptake by our, our females and I think we're going to see that it's going to have a significant impact on outcomes for the institution. We've got so many things planned uh, that are coming down uh, over the next 12 months, but I think the most exciting one that we'll see in the next uh, three to four months is a program called New Stars, and that's going to target those emerging research leaders, those individuals that we know are the stars of the future, and we'll have uh, opportunities for them to engage in a, a really tailored program of career support, career development, mentoring, um, and structured uh, professional development. I think that's going to be a really exciting program. That has been the success of the program, is the fact that we've seen the development of a, a really unique and new culture at the university. We've seen an engaged, a rich culture evolve, which is showing us that it's the early career researchers that can teach our senior research, researchers just as much as our senior researchers are teaching our junior or early career researchers. We don't bring in externals to provide programs. Often we're relying on our experts that we have at the institution, and they give so willingly of their time. They see the value in supporting that next generation of academics. We can only continue to support this initiative if we get the support from the academics and the students. And so I do, I encourage everybody if they can get out there and, and, and tell, their, tell their students, tell their uh, early career academics, um, expose them to the network, give them the opportunity to develop their career. That's what we want to see. We want to see more and more people turning up to our workshops because that means we can keep putting them on and make them bigger and better every year.